Uh, hi, and welcome to InsideTracks.co.uk. Um, please, if you like this video, subscribe and like, or give me a comment so I can get better. Uh, what I'm going to do today is to look at using support levels. Um, uh, basically, what I'm going to try and discuss is what are support levels, um, and then uh, this will show you uh, ways in which you can spot them and uh, make money from them. Okay, so we're going to take this example, which is the 6.45 um, uh, race at Newcastle tonight, 25th of January. Um, it's a seven furlong uh, race um, on the all weather. Um, it's for four year olds plus, a uh, fairly low grade race, um, and it's a handicap. There's 14 runners. Um, they say the draw advantage is high, but when you get to seven furlongs, it's, it's uh, Newcastle really there's there's no draw advantage at all um, when you do the stats so we'll have a look at the market and let's show um, uh, all the runners on the grid and what we can see is in this marketplace actually the top three uh, top four are separated by two two points uh, nine to two is the favorite and a 13 to two is this uh, fourth favorite so relatively close um, uh, uh, at the top of the market of top four, uh, two, two, two points. That's, that's quite good news because it means that there can be um, some movement here. Um, we're going to have a look at the different uh, horses and we're going to look for, actually, we've, we've gone for false ID. And false ID, you can see um, going through uh, here is, is, well, first thing to note is that it's 7.2 at the moment, last, last match price. Um, had nearly 12,000 on it. If we take seven times 12, it's, it's, it's 94, it's 70, 75,000. So generally speaking, this horse is, is slightly overweight in this market. It's having slightly more money than it should for its price. And we're seeing a little bit of big money and that's brought it down. And we're seeing um, what we're talking about today, which is support or support levels, um, i.e. when it reaches a certain uh, price, round about 7.6. We see pretty much 7.6. Um, that's a support level. Someone says, if you give me 7.6, I'll back it. Also has resistance or, or you know, another support level if you want, a uh, support level for, for layers called resistance level, which sits just under seven. Um, yeah, about 6.8, 6.6. Look at the chart. We should see that most of the money is between 6.6 and 7.4, pretty much all the money. So what you're trying to do is, you, well, we've identified now two support levels uh, for this for this horse. Um, if it goes down to 6.6 .6 about, we should be laying the horse, and when it goes to 7.4, we should be back in the horse. Um, maybe stay slightly inside those boundaries and try and take, if you want to be less risky, uh, lay it to 6.6 .6 and back it at 7.2, something like that. Now, um, uh, here we see the false ID. Now we're, what, 6.38, and this goes off in seven minutes. Uh, we've had 87,000 on it so far. Um, see, it's just clicking up quite reasonably rapidly now. For 100, yeah, not, not as rapidly as you'd expect. It's Friday night, most people are out um, doing something different than this. Um, we're seeing a uh, false ID. Now, what I won't probably do is, is as with a lot of uh, traders um, when they're doing videos, they, they try and trade while they're talking. And, and ultimately, um, trading when you're talking uh, generally leads to something going a bit wrong. So we're coming out to 7.4. So, so if I was going to trade, I would be going like 7.4. Let's have a fiver on a 7.4. Because if it gets out at 7.4, then um, uh, I'm pretty sure from, from the different support levels I've got, that it, uh, that's as far out as it's got, pretty much 7.6, um, and it's liable to go back into 6.6, .6, so I can make a bit of money out of this. So 7.4 is what I'm looking for, uh, might well get it. If you see that that's coming down, uh, you see these numbers here, uh, that's how much is, is, is on offer at 7.2 to, to back, that's how much is on offer at three, 345 at 7.4 to, lay my five pounds is in this in this in this number here so as that goes down so it gets close to matching my 
my five pounds. So um, rather than uh, spend a lot of time uh, just chatting, I've got my 7.4, so that's fine. So now what I want to do is I, I reckon that this is liable to go back in. So I'll go to seven, okay, and I'll put seven on. And we'll see whether it comes back into seven or not, or whether, in fact, this is a breakout and uh, the uh, 7.4 goes 7.8, eight, and so on. So if we do see a breakout, we will probably want to hit the button at about eight. So if it's if it's out, if this goes out to eight, we'll probably cash out making a small loss because actually we don't really fancy making it making a loss. And it's doing exactly as that, that was seen. So not might come back in because more money on eight than there is on seven point eight. Uh, back into seven point two and I've made my money. Now what you do is you keep doing that. Um, obviously what is being seen there is that the um, support level has actually moved out slightly from 7.6 to around about 7.8, but we're still seeing support at that level. Now it's going to come back down. I expect it's going to come into something 6.6 .6 maybe. Um, and if it comes into 6.6, .6, then we can lay it or we can lay it at 6.8 and then hope it goes out at 7.2 again. So that's the way to do it. Look at the support levels. Stay maybe just slightly inside and you can back, in, uh, back it at one support level and lay it at the next. And um, we are seeing it coming back into 6.6, .6, you see? If you come back into 6.6, .6, then we should be thinking about laying this horse. Um, and then so on and so forth. And uh, only when you see a distinct breakout, uh, and a breakout is when uh, your um, uh, horse starts getting backed in well beyond uh, the 6.4 that it's, its normal support level is. So if that starts getting quite heavily backed um, down at six, that's a breakout. So it's, and you should then get out of your trade and start to look to um, follow that trend until it stops. Or you'll see 6.4, we can lay it there and then hope that it's gonna go back up. But keep doing it. Um, you can probably, uh, as the market gets closer to, to the race, so it's 18.42 versus 18.45, much more money coming on. We're seeing it coming on at what, 5,000 every time. Well, 1,000, I click there. 1,000, I click there. So it's coming on at about 500 times I click, 500 pounds every time I click. So we've done 6.6 .6 or 6.4. We now have 7.2. So we could have done 6.6, 7.2. Now then we back it. We, we have a, a, a bit of money on at, at 7.4 to back. And then we, it would go back down again. We keep taking. Uh, a bit out of the market every time and every time we're just building up building up a little bit on this uh, i'm not going to catch out because I'll, I'll leave i'll leave that two pound on on false id and see whether it see whether it wins i mean it's got every chance um so yeah we would have done 7.4 now it's going back in 7.47 6.8 6 maybe so let's see 6.8 there you go so um yeah I, I haven't done it but that's what i would have done and as you've seen you know by now i'd have you know eight 10 quid in there and if I was doing slightly higher stakes I'd maybe have a bit more in there and I'd have made a bit of money. So that's what using support levels, identifying them, seeing where they are, um, backing it at the top of the top end, we're doing 7.4 or so and we could have done, yeah, we would, would do really a little bit lower, so maybe 6.6 .6, um, and we'd be saying thanks very much. That's, that's approximately a one, one, one uh, whole point uh, for each time it goes up and down and uh, we'd be making some reasonable money after a little bit. But uh, there you go, so um, uh, I'll, I'll leave that on but uh, we'll stop the video there because uh, otherwise I'm just talking for the sake of talking. Hope you like it, if you do, uh, subscribe uh, and uh, like. Um, if you uh, have some comments, please do leave them and I can answer them as soon as I see them. Cheers then.